When it comes to bra shopping, it's all about finding the right fit for you. Third Love uses thousands of real women's measurements and super smoothing memory foam to create bras that fit better and feel great. Available in sizes AA through G, as well as exclusive half cup sizes. And we all, all got one of these bras and we all love them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're really comfortable. Like, I, I've i never forgotten that I was wearing a bra before, but like in these bras, like I really just don't even notice it anymore. And they make your boobs look amazing. Absolutely. And yeah, I literally hate wearing bras and I'll wear this one in my house. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, you can try a third love bra free for 30 days. If it's not your new favorite bra, returns and exchanges are free. So go to thirdlove.com slash lady now to find your perfect fit and try it free for 30 days. That's thirdlove.com slash lady. Be good to your boobies. Do it. <laughs> I'm Barbara Gray, and Paul Dano collects teeth. <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and I'm only at your estate sale to snoop your house. I'm Tess Barker, and I automatically like anyone who's in public with visible Minions merch on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. We can. Barbara Brandy, and of course, Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby, it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies, ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Uh, hi, hello. What a subdued start to the show. That, was me. <laughs> that was me doing part of the theme song and then saying hello. Also, oh, gotcha. you guys get it. You just came in with an NPR voice and I was like, uh, hello, welcome to Lady to Lady. We should do an NPR version of the show someday. Just get very... Just us being quiet. I don't know if that's possible. I did an ASMR show once where I had to do that. It was really hard for me to be quiet for an hour. You just whispered? Was that Adam Papagan's Uh show? Yeah. Is chewing on mic also ASMR or is that? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's the opposite. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Because it's not like. It's STFW. Soothing. Yeah. I told you guys I'm getting the slime. I think I'm going to start throwing adult slime parties. Okay. Uh, Do we have any plugs? (laughs) September 1st in LA, Harlequin Comedy, come to Perky Nerd. We need, I'm going to bring in our guests because we need to talk to Barbara about her slime shit. She's been on Step by Step, Hollywood Darling. She's on the co-host of the worst ever podcast, Christine Lakin, everybody. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks yeah. for being here. Christine, yeah. are you aware of the slime phenomenon that's I don't happening? Know, I don't know this. I'm old. So <laughs> I, I am. Nothing. Trust me, I am too. It's just, it's a young person thing that I have like... It's yeah, like gotten a into thing is like a slurpy thing, and now it's a slime thing. It's, it's like a fidget spinner. It's thing. a fidget. It's oh. it's yeah. an Instagram like phenomenon <laughs> thing. Yeah, okay. please keep explaining <laughs> slime, <Yeah>. Barbara. <laughs> Are you throwing it at people? You make it. So yeah. you make it at home, and mm-hmm. then uh, it's like there. There's like a hashtag called oddly satisfying that is like something that it's like ASMR. It's like people whispering, and it's it's very soothing to watch. I get yes. that, or like one of those ones where they see like really nice handwriting. Yeah, it's just sure. like a soothing. Yeah. It's basically very soothing for some reason. I don't know why, but sure. it is. And Watching so, it or feeling, yeah, it's both. just a whole both. internet account. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed her one. I'm sorry, that looks like cat poop, and I don't. I, I deal with so much poop in my life. I don't want to. Do oh, much you know what? Like poop. I yeah. totally understand that. Yeah. I'm not touching. Be high I'm not touching poop on the regular, so that would probably totally change my. Yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> My, uh, I, I, I have a problem with frozen yogurt these days, just because oh, just the way it comes out. It's all sw- yeah. You don't want yeah. swirls. You don't want swirls in your life. I got life. two dogs no, no. and a seventeen-month-old. The morning, my yeah. mornings are dealt. There's so much excrement that we oh, have to deal with. Sure. So anyway, <laughs> that is the one thing keeping me away from kids and dogs. <laughs> See, I will poop. say having yeah. a dog has actually changed my relationship with poop because I'm more just like when my dog has a good poop, I'm like hell yeah. That's You're great. into it. Like, You're yeah, like, good for you. I am. I'm like, he's good for regular. You. I'm happy to yeah. see the poop. Like, it's help me see poop as a positive. It's funny yeah. with cats because you like. <laughs> well, my daughter. That's definitely when you have kids because you want them to be pooping. Yeah, when they're yeah. not pooping. Right. They're just so uncomfortable, and they make the face, and they're like, oh. eh. and you're like, oh, are you pooping? Oh, sweetie, are you pooping? <laughs> but does it really? Is it really like a little spi- frozen yogurt spiral? Sometimes. I mean, really? I have one dog. Why am I doing the hands? You I'm headed. cupping my hands together. <laughs> Thank you for that visual. That's not helping me at all. Um, I have a dog. I have one dog that it's like, I I don't know why this dog shits so much. He shits Uh more than a human. It's, it's unbelievable. And then I have another dog that is always having like a a spiral. Something's Mm. wrong with him. He's an artist. Yeah, maybe. Try pumpkin. There you go. Yeah. Maybe I've heard about that. It is. It'll firm it up. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Again, we can talk about your dog's poop all day long. And welcome, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Do you think, I I wonder, 
conspiracy theory if big slime is because tr- you know there's been like a downward spiral like people like not having babies as much right mm. if like big slime is putting it out there so all these women are getting into slime so you're getting used to the idea of being around that texture is it setting your biological <laughs> clock in motion i'm throwing it out I there mean, conspiracy theory that's a long i mean name. i don't think it's made me want to have children are it's making sure? me feel like a child yeah okay. that i it, but i don't think that's the slime barbara <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> it could be something else i wouldn't know what um <laughs> No, but it is, I don't know, it's really fun and it's soothing. And I think the reason why for me it's so, I like it is because like, you know, it's just like a dumb thing to distract you that has nothing to do with a screen or like mm-hmm. a TV or anything. I'm totally with and you, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's very like fun to do. So I'm going to have, you guys are going to come over and make it and then you're going to see how great it is. I'm, I'm busy speaking that, that day. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you want to do I'm, it? I'm it's kidding, fun. Kidding, did you ever like making slime? Did you ever have to make like volcanoes? Oh yeah. 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 Right. Mm-hmm. Baking so soda. Yeah. You'd have to take home the recipe and mm-hmm. make the weird dough. And, but this seems like it's a lot more, I don't know. Soft. It's really easy. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it doesn't it's like a version of that, but it's basically, version. yeah. And it's really simple. And you just kind of like, I feel like it's fun because it, you feel like you're making something, but you're not, it's just like, this is the easiest you thing know in the what? world. Yeah. Always piss me off about the volcano thing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's fun. I enjoy, I made one with my, <laughs> I made one with my niece like a year ago and the joy was still there. It's yeah. a lot so of they're fun. still doing it. They're still doing it. Okay. And it's a lot of fun to watch things explode. Yeah. But always, but that has nothing to do with actual volcanoes. Like you're not. This no. is. Let's be honest. This is a performance piece. Yeah, we're doing a science experiment, <laughs> and it has. You're right. It has. It absolutely. It's more of like an art slash science experiment. Yeah, mildly yeah. science related. But if it's going to be a science experiment, don't pass it off as a demonstration about volcanoes. No, it has nothing yeah. to do with volcanoes. No, and it's actually very confusing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But still, I mean, God, I would do that right now if I had the ingredients. Wait, what is it? Baking soda and what? <laughs> and vinegar. I guess I do have yeah. the ingredients. <laughs> yeah. It's vinegar. Let's, let's go inside. <laughs> Wait, yeah. it's vinegar that sets it off? Uh, vin- I think it's the combo. Yeah, the combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah. food the, color it. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Okay. Let's do a volcano party. Okay. Do you guys remember your science things? Uh, yeah. In seventh grade, I, for the science fair, invented bell-bottom overalls. <laughs> Wow. What? You invented that. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Okay, Levi Strauss. No big deal, but you're sitting <laughs> yeah, you're sitting in front of the inventor of bell bottom overalls. Wow. Wait, what do you mean? What did you do? <laughs> Are you a time traveler from the seventies? <laughs> did you like add overall tops to yeah. a pair of jeans? I just sewed on some overall tops okay. to a pair of existing bell bottoms. And what was your grade on that? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a ribbon. I don't know if it was like a grade situation, but I didn't get a ribbon. I didn't even place. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. I don't worry. I didn't place in science fair either. You know? Yeah. Mine Again. was the bed making machine. See, I thought it was great very idea. Useful. That's genius. I, I love you that. You had to have like three simple machines in it, which were like pulleys, axles, things like that. So I was clipping on clips to the sheets, and then you pull yeah. the pulleys, and it, it puts the sheets up. And oh, that's impressive. I think so too. No, yeah. didn't place. Wow. I know. Even had a Barbie. Why doesn't that in, exist? In a bed in there. It for this sure should be a thing. Know. Well, now it's going to be. Thanks a lot. Now I just added <laughs> yeah. all of my great secrets. We're going to see that on Shark Week. <laughs> yeah. Shark, Shark Week? Shark, Shark Week. Shark Tank. I Shark hope we tank. see it on Shark Week. <laughs> Just in a commercial. Or pull a little shark, shark to bed. Yes. Yes. There yeah. you go. It's a it's a, a shark that is a butler. There you go. Just right, right. making your bed with his little hands. Oh, they'd have a hard time with the f- fins. Shark butler? Yeah. I definitely yeah. saw some dolphins the other day and thought it was a shark and it terrified me. That's happened to me oh, when yeah. I've been in the water. Because you see that. Yeah, I was in the water. I was oh. in the water. It fucking scared me so much. Right? Yeah. There's that moment where you're not sure what kind of fin it is. Yeah. It's not. It's a little scary. Dolphins? Yeah. I I love dolphins, but even I don't want to be too close to the dolphins either. No, you don't. The Have you ever jerks. swam with dolphins? Um, not the closest I've come is like being out surfing in Malibu and having them be right. like a hundred feet away. But no, I've never like swam. Have you? I have. How was it? Oh. Awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Where yeah. did you go? But like, I also what? felt kind of bad. Right. You yeah. Know what I mean? It was like in captivity. I'm like, do they like this? Right. I, mean, I like this, but I don't know if they like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. They can't tell me if they like this. It's just it's like weird. It was in the Bahamas at the Atlantis where oh, they have like cool. a dolphin K. Yeah, yeah. But I mean I do really like I liked petting them and I did feel like this one was smiling at me. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't really care to like they're I don't supposedly need to hold on to them. Very, they don't need to push me. Right. They don't I just want yeah. to just kind of They're yeah. supposedly into that stuff, but I, I don't know. Supposedly. But we don't, we don't know. really know. We don't know. I don't know. I feel like we know so much and so little about dolphins. <laughs> we really do. Yeah. We're very smart. If I could come back as any animal, it would be a dolphin. Really? Mm-hmm. It's probably a pretty good one to come back as. I would think so. Well, I mean, yeah. it would be cool to have the ocean be your world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have and a lot of natural And you can communicate. Predators. You've got a cool, like, clicky sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I would love to be part of that world. Wow. <laughs> 
You did it. You, did it. you, you did went. It. You went Ariel. On us. <laughs> I had to. Uh, by the way, I'm assistant directing a show right now, a musical, yeah. at the Gary Marshall Theater. <gasps> wow. Yeah, it's very exciting. And someone actually saying the for that audition part oh. of part of your world, part yeah, of my yeah. world, yeah. Ariel song, yeah. and the director. Was it good? It was okay. And the director says, a weird the, choice. the director goes, that's lovely. Do you have anything less Disney? <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. But, you know, that's really funny. I know. And in my mind, I was like, I love this song. <laughs> I know. Like, seven they, again. What right? Everyone about, gets happy when they hear that song. That song. Did you see yeah. anybody do like weirder choices than that? Oh, my God. You guys, there are – sitting in on, on auditions yeah. is so interesting if you're a performer. Because oh, yeah. you so rarely are just on the other side for hours side. and hours and hours. And I'm talking like 200 people. Oh yeah. God. So we saw a lot of good, a lot of just okay. And then literally there were some people who I was like, oh, my God, they're tone deaf. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Why they were don't they know there? They're tone deaf. What, exactly. What, someone somewhere has told them that they can do this and mm -hmm. they're wasting their time and it makes me be sad for them. But there was one gentleman who I'm pretty sure was drunk. Wow. <laughs> Sounds he may Maybe correct. he knew he was toned up. It was, a, it was an open call on one of the days and mm -hmm. he, I think he stumbled in off the street. Um, like, literally. And uh, he, so he was interesting. Did he have um, sheet music? There was a pianist and he did have sheet music. One guy came in with a boom box. Wow. We were like, actually, we have a pianist. He's like, yeah, I just would really prefer to sing with my track. And I was like, <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. I wrote down karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's, if he's in the show, he's like, I need everything pre-recorded. <laughs> it's, really, it's really interesting. Somebody kind of went nutso. They did something from that musical nine and they were kind of like, it, it, I liked it and then it started to scare me. Ooh. Yeah. They had very what, crazy So what's the musical you're, yeah. you're co-producing? Funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Oh, oh awesome. cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Gary was a big um, mentor to me. And oh, really? I did a lot of shows, a lot of his movies, and then I did a lot of shows at the theater. And now it's kind of, it's moving from the Falcon to the Gary Marshall Theater. And it's becoming a nonprofit, and this is the first season. And they've asked a lot of people to kind of come back and, you know, that's revisit. That's awesome. Yeah. Be part of it. That's yeah, so part exciting. of their season. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, that's one of those theaters where, like, people are like, yeah, there's no theater scene in LA. I'm like, have you seen what happened? Like, they're so cool there's about developing new stuff there and just, like, the product, the caliber of the productions that Gary Marshall are, it's like, beautiful. Beautiful theater too. Yeah. Where is and it? It's in Toluca Lake. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, it's right oh, by that Warner one. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And cool. actually, there is a lot of theater in LA. I know. I yeah. hate when people say that. Me too. It's yeah. just a, yeah. Do we also have film and TV? Yeah, but you're just not going to the. You're theater not going in LA. to like theater row. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, everyone's in their own little world. Like, yeah. there's a great, there's mm -hmm. huge music scene here. There's a big theater scene. Mm -hmm. But yeah. everyone just is like, I'm in my thing. I don't I'm pay in my attention. Car. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I'm in my pod. I mean, we do stand up, and like you'd be right? there are stand up shows in every corner and every nook and every cranny night. of the city, yeah. Yeah. and Some people pizza be, parlors right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. a show in a pizza place. Too. <laughs> <And> <laughs> she literally that one. Oh, and yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, but people don't know. You know, yeah. they'll be like, "Where do you do stand up?" And I'm like, "Anywhere. Walk into yeah. almost yeah. any bar, and there will be a stand up show." But they don't. You know, they have no idea. Yeah, it's not, yeah, exactly. They're not in that <laughs> little fucking shit bubble. <laughs> right. Before we started the podcast of Worst Ever, we ran it as a live show and oh, a storytelling cool. show in the basement of a Mexican restaurant in Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you've ever done stand up there. It's lovely. Is it um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. They do a lot yep, of drag yep. stuff there, too. So mm -hmm. you're always kind of constantly covered in glitter. So that's fun. Yes. Yeah. Kind of an occupational hazard. <laughs> <laughs> that's Silver Lake Lounge, too, which also has, uh, which, like, I, I started stand up at and they have drag shows on the weekends so yeah. yeah you get access to like some sweet props backstage what better thing to have yeah. a crossover with I mean, seriously exactly <laughs> the vibe i'm looking for yeah great it's nothing better than just like walking out of an open mic and just seeing drag queens walk in yes. and just like all right magic is about to happen yeah here. Like, <laughs> clocking out my people yeah <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how, how long so what was the live show format then were you guys just so when we started the show um so we have celebrities and storytellers and comics mm -hmm. and writers uh yeah. walks come up and basically tell the worst things that ever happened to them mm -hmm. so um we like to celebrate the humiliation so the live show people would come out and the way we we produced it was kind of multimedia so we had a screen behind them and we yeah. would do these powerpoints some sometimes we'd find found footage or just we cool. put up people's like old crappy headshots yeah yeah um and then sometimes it was just non sequiturs mm -hmm. so i would be like we'd produce a story 
know kind of the beats of the story and then I would go on a Google rampage yeah. you know in the days before the show and put people's like put you know um, clip art and, and found photos and oh, whatever that's great. That's together awesome. kind of with their story so it was kind of like you had a second person on stage with you Yeah, the storyteller never commented on what was happening but it mm-hmm. would just sort of be like a pop up video behind them yeah um, give it a so little yeah. extra yeah just a little like something cool. fun yeah and then we would do theme nights so we would do like worst sex ever worst date ever worst vacation worst family et cetera et cetera nice and uh, um, yeah, it was really fun. The live show was, we did that for like three years. And as you know, like doing anything mm-hmm. in LA, <laughs> in basements of Mexican restaurants, yep. it's a it's a lot of work. Yeah, um, totally, for sure. It. We did a show in New York at Joe's Pub. Mm-hmm. Then we did a big show at King King. And then um, we sold it as a pilot and made a pilot that sat on a shelf. Yep. As you do. And then I said, I had a baby and then I was like, you know, I want to bring the show back, but I don't. Yeah, I don't have time to be in basements anymore. Maybe we just do it as a podcast, and so that's kind of how the podcast arm of it grew. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's yeah, kind of like us too. We had, we started as a live show, and then it was like we are working our asses off on the show. But there's you know 50 people maybe in the yeah. audience. Like, mm-hmm. why don't we access more people? Yeah, you know, with the podcast, it makes For a lot sure. of sense. Make it international. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout sure. out to our European listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Stockholm. If you exist, though, please write to us because, like, we all want to go over there next year. So yeah, tell us, us where you live and we can do you. shows. Totally. Yeah. yeah. I was in For England sure. when I was 21 years old. And I remember it being really expensive. But I don't know if that was just because it was expensive and I was 21. Right. No, it's right. always expensive. I think it's okay. always. Yeah, Our it's dollar is pricey. always so weak. I thought so. To them. Yeah. I just yeah. remember eating a lot of Snickers bars. But I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot I was going to talk about this. So my I met this uh Parisian comic guy who was here last year and he just visited again recently. Oh, I remember this Parisian. Yeah, yeah. And we hung out and uh it's funny because everyone was like, Oh, he's so hot and I was like, eh, I'm not into it. I just like wasn't I don't know. He was kept trying to like make it happen and I was like, let's just be friends. Let's just be Paris friends. You didn't want to friend kiss him? And no, I didn't want to French kiss him. I mean I did, but then yeah, I was like, I'm done. just kissing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's freedom kissing. <laughs> But the last time I saw him, he came to saw us. It was fun because he did like three minutes and he was so nervous because he was like, you know, it's not his first language and all this stuff, but he did great. Um, And then after the show, we were like, well, I guess this is it. I'm not going to like see you. You know, I was like, well, I'll see you. I'm trying to come there next year. And, you know, he was like, oh, okay, well. I'll see you in Paris. <gasps> I was like, oh. oh. He dropped in, I'll see you in Paris. Yes. And I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, that was the it thing. It did yeah. something visceral. Like, I, I don't know what, but I like, my body, You're I had to. clutching your pearls right now. I had to right clutch now. my pearls. I like, I was like, my, oh my goodness. All right. Where are these pearls come I'll from? See you. Oh my gosh. I'll see you in Paris. <laughs> Did he flick a cigarette into the wind that he pulled out of nowhere? Just right off on a moped? Yeah, yeah, it was, I don't know, but it really, like, did something to me. It was just like, <laughs> I'm going to keep this moment in my heart forever. Wow. Your life suddenly became, like, a Gary Marshall movie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it was sure. just, I didn't know I needed someone to say that to me, but I did. Apparently you did. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. I prefer to add things to my bucket list after they've happened. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, I didn't even know I needed that in the world. Right. Oh, exactly. 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 Boom, done. What's the best thing that you've crossed off that bucket list? Mm, I mean, we went to Dick Van Dyke's Halloween party a couple years ago. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's it was pretty sick. <laughs> that's awesome. How the hell did you get an invite to that? Uh, I was like, uh, my, my friend Bianca was like a, a makeup artist and went to school for it. And I was a model in one of her classes for her. And the teacher is Dick Van Dyke's wife. No and way. we hit it off. And she was like, you're the only model uh, that I've ever had in the class that I wanted to be friends with. And we've wow. just been like buddies. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And they, she just like invited us a couple years ago. To, it was um, amazing. He had a quartet cool. there. They sang concert. It was like, yeah. We were just, I just remember being in his living room and them singing "Straighten Up and Fly Terrible. Right" like out of nowhere. And I was like, yeah. What are we? Gorgeous. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A roving quartet. Just like, oh, we're just gonna burst into song right now. Amazing. Um, yeah. And also, amazing. just he had so many awards that he, they had fake cobwebs all over. <laughs> It was just they, a, it we was, both really like Halloween. Yeah, it yeah. was really cool. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty that was a pretty big one. <laughs> I think writing in a hot air balloon because that was a very spontaneous decision for me. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, because my sister texted me like at eight p.m. and she was like, "Hey, do you want to go on a hot air balloon at sunrise tomorrow?" And I was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah." 
It's so, really cool, isn't it? Was it was really cool, yeah. I did it when I was a kid with my parents. Oh, it's I terrifying, though. It's yeah. terrifying. Um, but it's so quiet it, up there. It's so quiet. And, like, you're you're so cognizant of the fact that you're in a basket in the sky. I know. Mm. And the other hot air balloon that went up around the same time with us got stuck in a tree. Oh. And so they were stuck there our whole – It was, and also I was in the – it was me and a bunch of skydivers. So I also watched a bunch of people jump out of the hot air balloon. So what? It, yeah. Wow. <laughs> What? Ooh. That's, what? <laughs> Ooh. You were that high? What, what is that like? What do they call it's, that? Free basing? It's no, close base to high? It's free base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's free base. <laughs> you know, like, both are close. You probably okay. have to free know. base before you jump yeah, off. Before yeah, you do it. Yeah. You. And this one guy that we were on the hot air balloon. I mean, skydivers are just crazy people. Um, and when the, every time someone jumped out, the whole basket would shake. So you're like <gasps> hanging onto the edges. I could never do that. <laughs> no, I mean a, so fer- a Ferris wheel is a nightmare for me. There's no way. It was like, and I was me and the pilot were the only people that weren't wearing parachutes. So it was almost like scarier for me because I was like, "Fuck, like please don't tip it so much." But there yeah. was this one guy who like it wasn't enough that he was just skydiving out of a hot air balloon at low altitude. He had this like ghetto rigged parachute that was actually for base jumping. That oh, was God. like not to be used for skydiving and he went out on the ledge it was one of the scariest things i've ever seen he went out on the on the ledge and he was like trying to get this parachute to gather wind and it no. wouldn't no so he's just standing there and it was like tied to his stomach with a rope like it was the most oh. like weirdly rigged thing ever and he was out there for like two minutes and finally the pilot was like get back in the balloon and so he wasn't allowed to jump and he had to come down with us oh, thank god yeah where did what yeah. do you mean up on the th- like there's a ledge they this was yeah they put a little like mini ledge outside of the basket that you stepped on before you jumped out wow that was... sounds like it's probably real put yeah. together well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah real yeah. high tech. <laughs> standard real high, yeah. <laughs> 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 no yeah. thank you well, how about the landing too did you have a oh hard... my gosh is the landing scary. is gnarly what happens yes well sometimes you get a really like clear day and it's yeah. there's not a lot of wind and you have a really good um i mm-hmm. inst- i don't know uh what do they call it? the fireman who yeah does the... yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh, that's the other thing guide the fire's so big the fire's huge and it's really hot yeah um and he can just sort of like land you like very gently Sometimes there's wind and he's like, oh, we got to do a drag landing. And you're like, yeah. I, I'm sorry, what's a drag landing? And they're like, yep, just crouch down. The, in Absolutely the, you have to like crouch. bullshit on all of this. And literally <laughs> you go come in sideways totally. and they have to try to lay the thing down. Why? Totally. And Why? And so you're just, the basket is just dragging. You're just ducking in this basket. Why are we no doing helmets? this as human There's beings? No Why are we doing this? I don't know. It's really fun. I have no like idea. It's, it's probably my favorite bucket list thing that I've done. I it don't It is really it. cool though, but I agree. Yeah. It's very oh, antiquated. It's so insane. <laughs> it really is. It's like, it's, hey, like, you know, what are we going to do next? Just yeah. like go up in some kind of, you know, rickety, you know, um, uh, airplane and hope for the best. Like, yeah. Let's start the propeller with our hands. Yeah. No, we're not doing that anymore. Pedal it with your feet. Do your we, best. We're yeah. beyond it. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it <laughs> literally is a wicker basket, some fire, and a piece of nylon. It's some Lewis and Clark shit. It man. is some serious Lewis and Clark shit. But it's cool. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. But yeah, cool. we had a scary landing. I forgot about the landing. Yeah, it was just like, well, we're going to be somewhere in this patch of land. Everyone, hang and on. Then, <laughs> and then after they're like, have some champagne. Here's yeah. some wine and cheese. Uh, yeah. Give me the champagne before, out. please. Chuck it. <laughs> what but, about you? Do you have a bucket list thing? Um, Yeah. Um, there's. I mean, I've done that. I've actually been skydiving. Wouldn't do it again. Glad I did it. Off too much. List. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't feel like I need to tempt fate. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did it once, and then I ended up doing it twice, and then I yeah. was like, oh, "All right, like, what am I going to do? Keep doing it? Like, I'm a junkie? No. Right. I, mean, I had a similar. I became a junkie for a couple months. Oh, you did. Yeah. She maxed out it. a credit card yeah. on it. Yeah. Maxed out a credit card, and I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> "It's cool. I mean, it's definitely. You don't. I thought I'd feel like I was flying, which I yeah. didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, the amount of wind coming up, and like, of course, when I first did it, I had somebody taking a video of me yeah. because I had to. I was yeah. like, oh, for 22 sure. Twenty-two and traveling in Australia, and we were landing on the beach and i was like this is the greatest thing yeah. ever which in hindsight i'm like what the fuck was i doing <laughs> um, but of course the whole video is just like my arms like rippling and my face rippling yeah, yeah. it's not cute no it's no cute it's hard video. to look hot at zero g's <laughs> really no hot. you don't you don't look and good, the suit it. and the thing you know and you've got like the but i did have a hot guy strapped behind me, me so that too was isn't that fun that was yeah fun. that was amazing. and then you just do this hot. like i mean kind of it's kind of like a firefighter like it's just like wow you just it's like an air fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fuck. I'd be so oh. mad if you showed up and they're just like, well, here's Jeremy. <laughs> just like, I mean, there are those Jeremys. <laughs> I need, yeah. for sure. I'd just be like, can I not, can I not almost die with, with, with an uggo? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to need a hot guy to, to make this happen for me. Right. He's got more to live for. <laughs> well, and your strap's like pretty, like their crotch is strapped to your crotch. Oh, yeah. They're almost entering you. Yeah. They're yeah, very sounds close. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> See, now Barbara wants to go skydiving. Yeah, Barbara's in there. Um, I'm going to go sign up for some skydiving classes. We'll yeah. be back. Can you, get, can you get Ricky? Yes. Yeah. Hey, we're back in Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with Christine Lincoln. Hi. Hi. Yeah. So um, we like to play some dumb games on the show. Um, we thought we were going to do, I guess, a 90s quiz. Now that I'm looking at this, we'll see what happens. We'll do our best. <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember anything anymore, but go. go <laughs> I, yeah. I, I well, it's basically just a jumping off point. So this is okay. like where yeah. I, whatever yeah, this yeah, leads yeah. us to. All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, we usually have theme songs. We don't have one for this. So. Yeah. 90s, 90s, 90s. Yeah. yeah. That's did the it. theme song of the 90s. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Absolutely. I like that you did a punch punch. And you're like, a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking. I feel like that was in the like beginning of 90210. I remember somebody, I don't know, doing It was probably Steve Sanders. There's probably, probably some. Who liked Steve? Probably. No one liked Steve, right? I don't not like him. But I mean, like, as far as the. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very convincing. I don't not like him. That's very how does that mean? Politician but like, answer who test. Who are the girls? Like I like like we were oh, saying. Like, French Sanders Stewart girl? was no. my guy. Like and I still would not have ever had Steve Sanders as the crush. No, no, it was the mullet. I would get the dad over Steve Jim? Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> not as a first Ouch. pick, but I'm saying over Steve. Not me. I'll take He's Steve a second before round Jim pick. any day. Yeah. Second round pick. I mean, I think Steve is an attractive man. I was a J- I was a Jason Priestley. He was so hot. Yeah, but I was he's, also like so hot. Yeah, my, that was my Michael J. Fox, Jason mm. Bateman, Jason Priestley. A lot of Jasons. Jason Bateman, Bateman can is still get it Bateman. for sure. Oh. Yeah, always. Yeah. I was totally like. What show is he earmuffs. I would totally still get down with Bateman. <laughs> uh, he's Ozark. 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 And he's so good in it. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know that. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I'm also kind of no, like no, a no. Paul was he? Red a, oh, Paul Rudd is always always. He's just. Yeah, he's like from honey. clueless to like yeah. knocked up. Well, he to looks the exact same. I'll see anything. Yes. All the exact yeah. same. Ant Man is great in Ant Man. All yeah. of it. Literally all of it. He's just the I Love ball. You Man with Jason Segel. I love yeah. you, man. That's mm-hmm. a that's good, good one. in that one. Mm. I love Paul Rudd. I never watched 90210. I still haven't. I don't know. Really? It yeah. Is... I know literally nothing. It's a about rough it. rewatch as somebody who's trying. <laughs> it's a little rough. I love 90210. I think because I didn't, I watched it a little bit as, when I was younger, but not a ton. And so, like, mm-hmm. trying to get into it at this point, I'm like, I was was having a hard time. One of my first good friends was like three years older than me, and she had an older sister. So she started watching 90210 and then made fun of me for some cartoon that I still liked. And I was like, I'll never watch your show. As like a second grader, I was like, (laughs) or or however old I was when 90210 came, I was like, I'll never watch your bullshit. And I just like dug it. It was my maybe stick it to her. Maybe it'd be the first time that I dug in hard on something. (laughs) <laughs> it's a trend. It's a trend. That it, yeah, you got You know, you gotta have standards and goals. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I started watching Nine O because I was not allowed to. Yeah, okay. So yeah. my favorite shows were The Simpsons, Nine O Two and O, and Married with Children because I wasn't allowed to watch any of those. None of those. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just that show I started watching as a young child, and I watched it to the bitter death in high school. Like I yeah. never missed a season. I there's probably no <laughs> other show that I watched so yeah. religiously as Nine O Two and O. And then did you stay on for Melrose Place? No. I tried Melrose Place. Melrose I watched or... it for a little bit. Now, what was the connect? Was it connected connect- at all? Or yeah. was it just yes. like same producers? Okay, that's oh. what I. But it wasn't there was like no story. There wasn't any right? like no. character yeah. um, crossover. Oh, okay. I don't think so. No, Melrose Place was all Heather Locklear. Yes. Right. Oh yeah, that's her thing. She showed so up. A lot of like twenty some odd singles living in one of these. You know, sort of. <laughs> like, I mean, apartment I, building. The apartment yes. building. Yeah, mm. with the pool in the center. The I I do always remember that one character like taking off her wig and that crazy. She was awesome. Um, yeah she was pretty that sweet that was very that's yeah. in my head okay Here, iconic here's a question here's one here's a, some fun 90s trivia what was the phrase made popular in the 1990s that contemptuously implied no interest in what the speaker was saying <laughs> the contemptuously implied this is a lot of a lot of big words here um it, it, what the speaker's s- saying slower no this, this whatever is a- Close. I mean, that one's pretty good. As if? Talk to the hand, Talk everybody. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was really okay. fun. Got that it. is weird. Where did that come from? Talk, Talk to the hand. Because the face don't understand. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I remember doing that to my mom once. Ooh. 
And then but she you never was, did that again. Yeah, no, it's just like, what? <laughs> oh my god. I would prefer that you told me to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to talk to him because the face don't want to listen. Yep. <laughs> Here's a th- okay, this is a question, and the only reason I'm this actually came up last night. Who sang the song Macarena? Do you guys know? Um, no. Mm-mm. I legitimately, until last night, thought that Madonna was the female voice. In, what? In, in what? Yeah. What? I, I like legitimately always thought it was Ma- <laughs> it was Madonna weird. doing a drop of in. La La Bonita? I don't know. Oh, I would say Chumba Wumba, but that's only because <laughs> that, they're the only like random band I remember from the nineties. Like, well, because there's like the 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 cup like the the remix version that had the girl voice. I always was like, oh, they probably got Madonna to do it because it's probably- like. So because it was so, I don't know I just like always was, I like literally until last night I was like oh Madonna sings on like the, the Macarena remix somebody was like no I was like I I've I've believed that for twenty one years who is it it is Los Del Rio oh, Los Del Rio yeah. okay. mm-hmm. made yeah. it originally and then the single was remixed by the Bayside Boys of course the Bayside <laughs> yeah, Boys yeah I thought it was Madonna in the thing with the Bayside Boys I legit <laughs> straight up thought that's that's who it was okay Brandy here's one for you during her 1990 Blonde Ambition concert tour I won't know Madonna this. wore a cone bustier, bustier designed by which cutting edge fashionista <laughs> I know I do not Christine? know this John Galliano oh yeah John Paul Gaultier Gaultier right yes. oh well, yeah. Sure, that's fancy. I knew it was something with a G. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> that oh, was shit. like Madonna's. Um, who's the designer that died? That Lady Gaga was his muse. Um, Christian. Oh, um, McQueen. McQueen. Oh, Steve McQueen. McQueen. Oh yeah, that Alexander was, McQueen. That was like Alexander. Madonna's Alexander yeah. McQueen. Yeah, totally. God, mm. those Alexander McQueen shoes. I'm not even like a shoe porn person, but like. Those no, are... his stuff. I'm not like a fashion person at all, but his stuff like really was interesting. Does it for me? Yeah, yeah. definitely cool looking. Man, how? Here's a question. After for being on step by step, how often do the the theme song get stuck in your head? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, n- luckily not that much yeah. because I always, I was always I felt weird about watching myself. I could see that. I was you gonna know? say it's not yeah. like they were playing it on set. No, <laughs> like we, like let's warm everyone up with the no. theme song. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we would hear. It, uh, you know, we've taped in front of a live audience, so mm-hmm. on Fridays they would. They would put it on, and then we would have to do these things called run around. We called them run arounds. This yeah. is the worst, you guys. Uh-huh. So they had these like big um, uh, wooden sort of things on rollers, and they would just put them in front of the sets mm-hmm. so that when they rolled them away, it was a reveal for the live audience. And, Got it. Because they were sitting there for maybe half an hour before we started. Right. Yeah. So they had one little little thing, and they would make us kind of like run around it to the theme song while they mm-hmm. introduced us. So oh. they would go in backwards order. And yeah. so they would start with the youngest kid, and then they would go all the way up to Patrick Duffy. Yeah. And so then they would be like, hey, welcome to the show. And then they would start the theme song, you know, yeah. oh, it's time for a run around. <laughs> and so we'd have to like go stand out there, and they'd be like, Josh Byrne. And they'd like, he'd like run around and do his thing. <laughs> and he would like someone was always tripping uh-huh you know the, the guys would go out and you just felt like a dork you're like hi you're like trying to do it fast but yeah. like not uh, it's just always so uh, i'd love to see dorky. a single camera do that now <laughs> like no right. audience i know <laughs> yeah, right. right just, just run around the crew <laughs> the cast of the office just <laughs> so <laughs> awkward i don't know if every show did that they probably did probably, probably. yeah those that taped live it, i would it right. feels yeah, yeah i'm yeah. sure to you know feel like yeah. something was happening did you guys have like yeah. a warm-up comic was there Somebody oh, yeah. that oh yeah oh yeah oh that's a, bi- that's a very big job that's an intense yeah. job it's yeah. yeah. an intense job it's a difficult job well especially because they, they cut job. you off in the middle of like yep. whatever you're doing constantly so it's you're not, like oh, all right because it's not yep. bits it's just it's talking yeah, just without talking saying people. anything and just keeping energy up yep you know so you can't really do like joke jokes no. like you can kind of like ah and you're from this all you blah, can blah, do blah, is blah. like cu- talk yeah. to couples and be like oh you're a wife and husband husband wife joke joke <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah. all you can do candy 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 candy, 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 candy. and i think they do a lot of like giveaways and they yeah. try to get people up to sing and you mm-hmm. know they try to just kind of like yeah. keep it interesting in between i think you talked about this but i saw when i saw um it was david cross and bob odenkirk did some hbo pilot or something i don't know what it was mm-hmm. but i got a chance to see it and the warm-up comic was so bad he was like he was just fucking bombing and we were all like trying to avoid him and david cross came up to him and he's like hey man what are you doing and the guy was like i'm doing stand-up and david oh, no. said oh is that what it's called and oh no, oh, no. Oh. took the mic oh, yeah. he started doing stand-up oh, oh that's, hor- yeah. that's brutal that guy he got oh it was intense wow can Yikes. you imagine that walk back to your car i mean like, 
you just you and never you know stop what driving. that guy no, never I don't know if he still does but that guy lives like five doors down from me and I'll really? see him sometimes just be like Ugh. is it Leo Duo's dad <laughs> it's, Leo, it's Leonardo DiCaprio's dad oh, he yeah. lives right by me how's Leonardo DiCaprio's dad doing I you know I haven't seen him in a minute it's been okay. it's been a while okay. not a lot of action happening in the get, house get so. close to Halloween yeah yeah he, he likes to decorate. Big, oh, so. he's an, he's another big Halloweener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm in Dick Van Dyke. Like Dick Dick Dick. Dick. Exchange tips. Um, yeah, that was that was rough. I mean, David was so funny, so we were like glad he did. But but that's so <sighs> he's so funny. Yeah, he's I love him. Hilarious. Yeah. He's amazing. Um, I'm sure yeah. you've been asked this a million times, but like. What was it like to be like, you know, I knew so many guys who like had a huge crush on Al and stuff. Like, do you know, like, do you have guys talk to you about that? It's, you know, it's so, I, I mean, people on, you know, Twitter and social media and stuff, they definitely have been like, oh my God, you were my first crush. Right. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. And I, it's so sweet. It's yeah. like really nice. As a kid, I mean, I didn't, I don't know. I, I, how old were you when you're on the show? I started when I was 12. And I ended when I was 19. Mm-hmm. But I had been acting before um, yeah. in Atlanta and stuff. And I'd done a ton of theater. And I was always like a little bit of like a theater nerd. I still mm-hmm. am. So to me, this was just, you know, it was another job. Yeah. I never sort of like, it, it. I never kind of bought into the fame of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just like a job that came with other other things. And every for me, every every job is a new experience. Yeah. So it's it's lovely when people say stuff like that. But yeah. um, I don't, because there was no social media back then. That I don't think sure. it really affected me right, right at the right. time. Now, when people say, like, I had a friend the other day. We were at a, a play date with a bunch mm-hmm. of kids because I've got a, um, a 17-month-old. Mm-hmm. And her husband came in her place because she yeah. got a job. And we're talking and, you know, no mm-hmm. big deal. And afterwards, I guess he went home and he's like, you did not tell me that freaking Al <laughs> is in your kid's group. <laughs> okay, dude, you got to tell me this shit beforehand. <laughs> she was like, dying <laughs> laughing and she's like telling me this and I'm laughing and she's like, apparently yeah. my husband had a huge crush on you and he, and I was like, oh, really? I was like, oh, I was talking to him about, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. I was like, he seemed fine. She's like, well, he was very nervous. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> so that, that kind of stuff I think is pretty funny. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Especially cute. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like ideal because you didn't have to deal with it when you were young and now that you're an adult. Yeah, I mean, it's I, fun. It's, it is. And I don't know, like, what it would be like, you know, for some of these kids who do have to deal with it. Oh, my God. I can't day. imagine. I think that's, that is so intense. You yeah. know, the, the, like, worst thing that was ever said is, like, something in Bop Magazine. It's like, Christine Lakin has a crush on so and so, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. It's like, really, that's, that's like, the <laughs> gossip of the day, you know. Um, so I was, I think I was lucky that I, I was able to kind of come out normal-ish and unscathed from that. Yeah, I do yeah. think... Also on the end of like being, you know, a fan of people when I was younger, I am so thankful the internet was not around because I was insane. You know, like I was always like trying to contact people or whatever. You get these like celebrity crushes that were super intense Mm -hmm. and then like try to send them fan mail or something. And I'm like, wow, I'm really glad I couldn't follow any of these people on Instagram. The tweets you would have been sending. Oh, it's it's horrible. Like I don't even want to think about it. I mean, nothing like bad, just like embarrassing. But you should be allowed to have like your social media record expunged when you turn 18. For real. Like that's, only yeah, fair. start yeah. fret clean slate. Clean slate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we should start doing that for sure. Yes. Um, you know who I had a huge crush on? Like my first, like serious crush was. I really thought the lead singer of Soul Asylum was really hot. <laughs> I don't know who. who Runaway that Train. Is. Runaway Train really did it for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really did it. What for were me. you going through? <laughs> Runaway Train never come back. I watched that video a lot. I mean, JTT was my like. I remember in yeah. sixth grade they chanted his name at me because I was like obsessed with him. <laughs> he always looked too <laughs> elfin for me. Chanting his name at you. JT yeah. squared. They were, yes. JT squared. They did it. They were like Jonathan Taylor. Ta- they did like a teasing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, Which also, I'm like, what happened? Like, I must have been talking about it nonstop I mean, come on, in this class. Guy is totally hot. Was it oh, your locker? God. Was it all the pictures in your locker? In <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm, I'm sure. Little... I'm sure. Yeah, what? So... I don't know what you were going He's through. He's so cute. Come on. Is Oof. he? <laughs> <laughs> He looks very I can't, literally troubled. can barely see him through the hair. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I also liked Slash and Guns N' Roses. You had a hair thing. Yeah, I had a hair thing. That's yeah. what was happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that tousled kind of gross look. Oh, man. I um, <laughs> You were into the grunge. You I went was. full effect. Well, because like, my older cousins were, so I think that was yeah. part of it, too. I was like, well, that's what makes a cute guy is like grunge. Okay, yeah, got definitely. It. Got it. I mean, this is Kurt Cobain. This is all about totally. kind of realness. Yeah. I think, I think J.C. Coakley posted the other day about um she was working at davy wayne's at this bar mm-hmm. and the, and slash came in and they were like freaking out and trying to get him free drinks and stuff yeah and then he left 
and someone looked at the footage and was like, that's not Slash. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, one of the Hollywood impersonator people <gasps> no. came in. Oh, and good like, on him. <laughs> that's good not amazing. Good. 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 You take that for everything it's worth. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? That's a good Slash person. Slash would be a good one because basically. I yeah. mean, you don't have to see your face. face. Yeah. yeah. No one just, really It's knows. a wig and a hat. Totally. You know? really. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? That's really I mean, smart. I guess you could go in there as like Jason. Whoever plays Jason. Michael. When we were in Atlanta last, um, my husband and I were in a restaurant with my mm-hmm. family, and we somebody was like, um, oh my gosh, uh, your husband plays for the Falcons. Now, my husband <laughs> could maybe be a kicker. Yeah. He doesn't look necessarily like, but maybe he looks like he could have been, I don't know, back in the day, but he yeah. was so like honored that oh. someone thought that maybe yeah. he could have been an NFL player. Wow. And then I was like. I, I was like, well, so what does that make me? Who am I then? Yeah. Am I, he thinks you're the, the guy from the Falcons. Is I, am I tardy for the party? <laughs> am, I the, am I the chick that's married to that guy? Yeah. And he was like, I don't know, but I but, play for the Falcons. But so. I mean, they all have really hot wives, so I would take that as a compliment That's too. true. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is Tar- <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the real yeah. housewife who made that song is married to... Uh, She's married to a dude oh from the Oh my Falcons. God, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh wow, don't be tardy to the party. What a, Kim, what a classic. Soziac. Soziac. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to get into the housewife shows. Oh, well... Mm. I have an opportunity for you coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you have no for her? Is this a pyramid scheme of housewife oh, shows? I mean, yes. <laughs> I wasn't going to unveil this yet, but since we're talking about wow, it. Wow, um, unveil. Well, <laughs> I'm excited. So Sean goes, he's going to Vegas for the first weekend of football. So for that Sunday, since he's going to be gone, I'm just going to have a bunch of people over and just drink beer, make food and watch housewives all day. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That sounds like an awesome weekend, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So when is the first weekend of football? September. I, I would never. I would it's not. The know. First week of September. Okay. Yeah. Is he going to do a fantasy draft? <sighs> Probably. Got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got a podcast about sports. He says a lot of. I can't. My yeah. husband's wearing green under. I mean, purple underwear today uh, because the Vikings are playing a preseason game. I, I really the like. I can't yeah. with the traditions. You realize in my house on Sundays it becomes, honey, I need you to take that shirt off. I need you to put oh, this shirt on. Yes, the baby needs to put this yeah. onesie on. Tess gets the, it. It's, it's <laughs> and then like you get insanity. blamed. You get blamed. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I wrong. just have to walk out of the room because he is like an animal. <laughs> it's insane. He's yelling at the television. Yes. He, he doesn't even bet on these things. He's oh, just an animal. He does. Can you, I mean. And it's like, you know that you're not part of the team, right? Yeah, you know none (laughs) of this matters, and (laughs) none of them know who you are. They don't know who you are. No. 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 Anyway. But yeah, preseason. I mean, and that's the other thing. Does this... It's fucking August. Do you have to watch every preseason? I mean... Then the season starts, and they have games on Mondays, Thursdays. I just don't understand how they watch all of it. It's insane. It's so much time. Yeah. Where does... How? They find a way. They do. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah. guess I'm making slime, so I don't know what's sadder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make purple slime bar, but you have to do it. <laughs> I'm literally, like sitting in my room with like weird glue. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to cause CTE it's at probably least. Probably worse. That's yeah. true. It could be something, though. There's probably something toxic probably. happening there. Probably huffing glue from slime. <laughs> the saddest intervention I've ever it seen. It honestly, you guys, it looks so pathetic. It's so funny. It makes me laugh so hard. Like, when you're making slime? When I'm just sitting in there by myself. Because I, I have like four t- <laughs> like these little Tupperwares with <laughs> We need to get you a child, yeah. <laughs> some kid. Yeah, you borrow a kid. For a couple I am videos. honestly yeah. getting like I'm. Uh, I, I haven't been in a relationship for a while, and uh, really, I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Uh, um, do you think it's the slime? <laughs> I think the slime is serving its purpose. <laughs> and, but I'm getting she, like she shape it into a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I am getting like I'm a little sad. I've been like okay, you know, mm-hmm. with it, but but my roommates are moving out, and so I'm facing like redoing the house and like all the stuff that I'm excited about. But it's like pretty depressing to do by yourself. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. oh, I want to paint this wall and figure out this furniture, but it's kind of like, ugh, this is like lame to do alone. Yeah, I think you should just embrace it. Yeah, pull a carry. But I've been off. embracing it for a long time. It, with stuff like that specifically, you're like, yeah. it would be fun to like paint this wall and then fuck the person I'm painting it with. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think yeah. you can still do that. Yeah. Just find a hot painter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I don't know. It just, it feels, That's like you a know. very rosy colored, you know, view of marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I know that that's not all it is, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I will say Sean, I mean, and this is how I like it, but he had 
maybe less than 3% input in what the house looked like for yeah. me. And that's being generous. Well, so. no. I mean, obviously, I, I'm t- saying total control yeah. is the first rule. <laughs> They're just there to assist. They're there for that reason. Yeah, assistance and validation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you do the tendering? Yeah. Do I'm, you- I'm, uh, you know, I'm back and forth. Oh, I did have a really funny, I think I had a funny interaction recently. I, I never date. was on the tinder because yeah, I missed same. it. I, I literally just yeah, missed, missed it missed as it started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I find it kind of like fascinating. It is. I like helping yeah. my friends tinder. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting to see. Do you do any no, of that? No, no, no. I've been my boyfriend for like six or seven years oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Um. God, where's the... This guy did a really dumb joke. Did I talk about it on here? Uh, did you say you're a comic in your profile? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know. Um, no, uh, you have a tiger in your profile. Oh, okay. Did I talk about this? Tigers? The elephant... What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? Did I talk nope. about this? No. Okay, this guy sent me a message. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? And I just kind of didn't respond. And he wrote, Elefino. And I was like... That's not a word. You can't just no, make up a word. No. E- Elefino. It's supposed to be Elefino. It works better as like not well, to hear it. But you yeah. say, yeah, it looks Elefino is That's how not, it's spelled. That doesn't land. El- if I know. Elef- you got to yeah. really phonetically. Yeah. yeah. And I just yeah. got mad and I said, wait, that's not even a pun. It's just a made up word. And he <laughs> said, it's the punchline. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. And I said, I know. And then he said, what part of town are you in? (laughs) No, well, we had talked about this. I was like saying how like, I was like, oh, maybe I'm polyamorous. Mostly because I wanted to not feel guilty about dating multiple guys at once. But I don't feel, I feel weird having sex with more than one person. It just feels weird. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's not going to work out. I thought I could just be like, I'll have sex with you and then have sex with you. And it's like, "Mm, yeah, it doesn't. It feels weird. Unfortunately. The whole community. I think you have to be in subreddits and that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'd have yeah. to like study up about it. Yeah. I don't know. You if watch I'm the ready Showtime for that. show. Which yeah. which one? Polyamory. Oh, oh that's is it good. Is it a non? I is think it, it's fascinating. The docu series. Yeah, I love stuff about polyamory. Me too. Yeah, I, found <laughs> I love stuff. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and it's Showtime, so they're just showing everybody's boobs and yeah. and dicks and things. Just going for it. But uh, it's it's actually just a very interesting to hear them talk about their relationships and who they're bringing in and who their neighbors mm-hmm. are. And I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, I I mostly like I said it was mostly like I'm like I want to date right now and not like feel bad if I'm dating more than one guy at right, once. Right. And that's kind of more where I was at. I think. Yeah. I I mean, I do want to have an open thing when I'm with somebody eventually, but that's a whole other. Well, I just find it really fascinating, I think, because I'm like, I could never. So it's like, how? Right. Like, it's really right. interesting. It's not a, just interesting to me. It's like fascinating that people, that's what's preferable to them. And they find like a system to make it work. Yeah. And yeah. it's really funny because I have a fuck buddy right now. And we're like, it's just so funny because we both know, like, I know at least that I wouldn't want to be in, like, a real thing with him because I can just tell it wouldn't work, you know? Yeah. But I can tell we're both, you like, how you, it's like, oh, well, this is an in-between thing. But mm-hmm. we'll both be like, oh, like, what'd you do last night? Like, oh, I went on a date. Oh, that's cool. And it's, we're, like, trying to pretend we don't care. <laughs> it's cool, it's, bro. It's cool, It's bro. really yeah. stupid. And I'm like, why are we doing this? I don't know. But you kind of have to do that to to establish the it's cool, bro. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah, a very, yeah. it's a lot of it's cool bros happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll be like, "How was your day?" And I'm like, "This is not a not cool, bro. Not a cool yeah. bro yeah. thing. <laughs> not go down that road." Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna call up one of my boyfriends. Bye. <laughs> we'll be back. boyfriend. We are back. I'm Tess. I'm Barbara. I'm Brandy. We're here with Christine Lekin. Hi. Hello. And uh, we answer advice. Because we're obviously very well suited to tell people what to do with their lives. <laughs> sure. I think. And uh, if you guys have anything you want to say, answer. <laughs> want to try that again? Right. Um, <laughs> lady to lady at maximumfun.org. And we will answer you. We pretty much answer almost all we of try. them. We try. Yeah, we did pretty good. Yeah. Try. Sorry for the ones we've let slip. We are. Well, yeah, sometimes we'll get a ton at once and yeah. you can't. But most of them we do. So, yeah. Anyway. You're welcome. We're great. Wow. <laughs> We're great. <laughs> really covered around that answer. <laughs> you just talk. Uh, answer. Yeah, you really doubled down. Lady. Lady problems. Lady. Lady problems. Lady problems. Do you have them? Lady problems. All right. 
Hello, ladies. I love the show, the show so much. The episodes don't have a chance to pile, ever. Aww. Aww. I'm 23 years old and currently going to college. Here's my problem. A year ago, I started hanging out with an old friend from high school whom I have. Some drama and unresolved issues. We hit it off and we connected in an entirely new and deep way. However, recently we had a fight. Our first serious loud fight. Surprise, surprise, it was about money. I accidentally looked at his balance while he was withdrawing money. His balance was gasp-inducingly large, especially especially for our age. I had some knowledge of his businessy double life, and of course, okay, <laughs> okay, and of course, he doesn't like people looking, as he told me repeatedly. But it was an honest mistake. After that sour moment, I personally didn't care, and my thoughts um, recented, no. recentered, recentered. Um, around what to get for dinner but he spiraled he started telling me about his other properties and gold what <laughs> what gold just to make me feel bad <laughs> he questioned my motives for being friends with him then he brought up our old high school drama Whoa. all the while i said nothing to defend myself i even complimented him a couple times afterwards we fake made up to continue our night and and not end it on a fight ladies what should i do his voice still echoes in my head repeating those awful things my stomach aches at the thought i hate how he felt okay with hurting me deeply over a silly thing that side of him was scary and vicious how should i go about confronting him about this how can i prove to him that money what? truly doesn't matter to me and do you have any advice i mean don't be friends with this person dump the chump what's the i have one thing to say yeah <laughs> vicious yeah you use the word vicious yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. everything you need to know right then and there absolutely this problem ain't getting better nope no you're no. not moving forward and building a life with someone who can't just be honest about uh, their a their finances yeah. yeah and okay with their finances yeah and i get the like you know please don't look at my things but that's an honest mistake and you can it recover happens. and you move forward yeah, yeah. there's some weird who's talking about gold what the hell the gold thing yes. is really fucking weird like, what are we this? pirates i mean he's Wait, obviously yeah. insanely defensive and like yeah. feels guilty and is so is taking it out on you and that is not some shit you deserve not gonna fly and what's this businessy double life business <laughs> double life at 20 20 i'm a 23 year old he's like, a drug dealer right uh, maybe i don't Who know knows? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I agree. I mean, He's just not in your life. Don't even, like, try to repair this relationship. No, no. It's not worth it. No. Either that or he's, like, buying into those infomercials that are like, buy gold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, either yeah. way. <laughs> I have so much cash for gold, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird thing to bring up your gold. Yeah. Yeah, no. no nobody, don't bring up your gold in 2017. Don't yeah. bring up your gold. It's weird. It's no. weird. If you have gold, keep it to yourself. <laughs> or your property. <laughs> or if you do, be like, all right, I'm saving you a place in my bunker. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, right. be cool about yeah, it. Right, yeah, right, <laughs> Totally. Oh. Yeah, well, don't be with someone that belittles you. That right. Well, I don't think they're dating. Thing. I think yeah. it's just a friend thing. Yeah, but it's like, a it's a guy. It's two. I mean, they could be gay, obviously, but it's a guy. It's two guys. He didn't mention. I don't know. I can't tell. He didn't say if they were dating, but I do feel like sometimes you have those friendships where it's like your friends, but like your you frenemies. become like and. But it's also like that like emotional dating, but yes. you're just friends. Like yes. nothing physical is happening. But you lean on each other for companionship yeah. and a lot of stuff. Yeah. This person obviously has like weird boundary issues and stuff because they're just like being vicious and awful. So mm. it's like they're probably just yeah. like a verbally abusive person. So they're like, Whether oh, it's anybody romantically or not. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot, you know, yeah. yeah. You can't be friends with someone that wants to be little you. No. Yeah. I mean, also, uh -oh. I'm guessing, like, you know, not to whatever happened, but I don't know what happened. It says, like, his balance was large, especially for our age. I had some knowledge of his double life. Of course, I know he doesn't like people looking, but this was an honest mistake. It, after that sour moment, so it, it seems like you said something about the thing yeah. that set him off, I'm guessing. Like, yeah. you know, I don't think it was like you just saw it. Some, it sounds like there was some kind of exchange. So yeah. he, it sounds like he just immediately went like crazy yeah. defensive about it. So, but it's also like come up before because he's like, I know, I know he doesn't like people looking, looking. at his, yeah, looking at his balance. The whole thing's weird. I think just cut away. This doesn't seem like a person that's worth it. You're in college. You're meeting other people. Yeah. <sighs> Let's not rehash high school. Yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot that like, no, it's fine, and it's it's fine, it's fine to let those people go. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. I got people I have drama with from high school. You can be acquaintances. Yeah, yeah. you just don't exactly. have to be like his status is every once in a while. You know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's got a lot of gold to count. He doesn't have time for you anyway. <laughs> he is basically Donald Duck. Yeah, exactly. Multiple <laughs> properties. What Multiple are you talking Multiple properties about? swimming in gold coins. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? <laughs> what?
sucks. <laughs> Oh, this God. person, oh uh, man, I just, I love the idea of they're an assassin or a drug dealer or what. For sure know, a drug hilarious. dealer. Yeah. I mean, probably. Yeah. Either that you. or they're, they have family money that is literally ancient and in gold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's true because drug dealers is from like Don't 1872 or something. Just been yeah. passed down in suitcases. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk about mama's gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this person a hearst? Are we talking about a hearst here? Yeah, right. <laughs> Cause yeah, don't don't be friends. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine to not be friends with everybody. It feels great. Um, or make him buy you a boat to deal with it. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if he was a cool <laughs> rich friend, then keep him. But I feel like boats are so much work. Boats, boats are, are a lot of work. So much work. Everyone, I feel like everyone just tells me that all the time. They are. I, they, I just they feel like I'm are. always being told that boats are a lot of work. They are a lot of work. Cause you gotta like winterize them. You gotta get them ready to go. So you gotta fill them oh, up. I'm not gas. anything. I have to winterize. I'm good. <laughs> Do you think yeah. you have to winterize it in Los Angeles? No, uh, probably yeah, not. Probably in LA. just scrape barnacles and repaint yeah. it, and mm-hmm. oh, barnacle! That reminds me, my things. yeah, yeah, my science experiment was brine shrimp. I like sea monkeys. Grew brine shrimp. No, they're not that. I don't really know what they were, <laughs> but I like grew them in a cup or something. Ew. <laughs> oh. Well, because the Salt Lake had was like full of them, so oh. I don't oh, know. Nice. I went and got a cup, and you just kind of caught them and then Check fed this them. Out. Yeah, caught them and fed them, and, but okay. they were impressed with it. <laughs> Did you get a good I, grade? Uh-huh. Wow. I have no idea what I did. I don't remember at all. I don't know why I remember that. I remember nothing in my life except for shit like that. Brian Trump. Brian Trump. We Brian Trump. I do not remember. This is so trashy, but um, the ranch my family has, we used to, in the drainage ditches, there used to be crawdads that would oh, come. Yeah. And me and my brother used to catch crawdads and then bring them home. And, like, they didn't live for very long, but we would, like, keep them as pets in, like, pots and oh, pans boy. outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I did right. so many <laughs> gross things as a kid. Yeah. I was constantly in creeks and in mm-hmm. woods and making ecosystems and jars. For and sure. picking up snakes. And it's now great. I'm like, Bleh! Like, I can't I even, know. Like, isn't that weird that I'm, we like, ushering, do that? like, spiders out the door. I didn't want to touch them, mm-hmm. you know? Why? See, I feel like you have no fear about any of that. I feel like because I was a tomboy, like I am like embarrassed by how not afraid of bugs I am. Like I'm still like whatever. I mean, like they really don't face. Yeah, Mm. it depends on the bug. I'm definitely, you know. Yeah, I can kind of go back and forth. Cockroaches freak me out because of how crunchy they are, and they're just they're just so gross. They're gross. I will say I can't handle cockroaches or any kind of a. Um, like maggot. Ugh. I knew you were going to go there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let's just make it worse. Let's just say all of them. <laughs> we had a maggot sitch a couple weeks ago. Oh. Really? No, oh. There's nothing worse than that because like right. we've had it happen like twice in my house and you're like, oh, there's like a kind of some flies and then you're like, oh God, like, they're going to find the source. Oh. Did rice spill all over the floor? Oh God. Why is oh. the rice oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Uh, Wake up to that. Oh, God. Um, oh, I just want to say, I was looking, I was just looking in our email for, like, to look for a lady problem or something. Mm-hmm. We got this, we got, like, a really weird email from someone with the title, Chicago Baby Show 2017. Uh, hi, I hope this note finds you well. I thought I'd check to see if you were interested in acquiring the attendees list of Chicago Baby Show 2017 for what? pre-show marketing. <laughs> It's like somebody trying to sell us the emails of people going to a baby to a show baby? in Chicago. I have so many questions. What the fuck is a baby show? It's. I looked it up and it's. I'll tell you. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a. It's like a convention for Expos. like parents. It's like an oh. expo. So you can go through and be like, look at this stroller, look at that stroller, right. look at this thing, and you can have each person like a representative from each company <sighs> basically explaining to you what these things are and then make giving discounts and okay. yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah yeah it's I just an thinking, expo the chicago baby show is a weird oh yeah look at this baby's haunches are they correct <laughs> I, know, I was picturing all these babies on pedestals oh god i wish that i know would be actually that really would be fun, fun. best in show but it's just babies they have to go through obstacle courses yes you know Follow who has the fattest thighs yes. they win a prize <laughs> yes. oh yeah best roles yeah that would be fun great that would be cool I mean, we're going to buy this bit. We're going to buy this email list. We're going to buy this email list and just email and be like, listen to this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we probably just looked at the title and we're like, oh, yeah. Lady. Oh, oh, that, they're probably yeah there you go. They got a, they got, they're into the ladies and the babies. <laughs> yeah, they're women. They'll be. We know what they like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's their only thing that they do is procreate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, fu- really we're funny. fucking up then. Better. Yeah. All these Chicago moms too. I just imagine Chicago moms. Like, yeah, Chicago moms. We can take your uh, your slime in a cart. We'll put your slime in a, in a cart, not a cart. Let's get a booth. Stroller. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> slime booth. Hey, guys. Everyone works. Everyone yeah. works. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm way ahead of you. I'm going to get a kiosk at the mall. <laughs> Slime kiosk. Oh, nice. Barbara. Can you imagine it just like being an aggressive kiosk person? Like, oh, feel the slime. Feel the slime. Come on. Feel it. Feel yeah, it. Feel, it, feel the slime. You got to feel the slime. Come on. I can't let you go, honey. Well, I saw one beautiful. for Come on, beautiful. For beautiful. Feel Touch the slime. Right I'm, I feel like I'm in a be. weird deep <sighs> hole. Oh. It, it's. No, no, no. I just mean like. Do we need to have a <laughs> slime intervention with you? <laughs> it's just, this just took a turn. <laughs> What's going on, Barbara? Barbara keeps bring, Barbara has like it's just something slime that up you a know. lot. She it's has. like I know, you know about it. I feel weird that I know about it so much. Slime? Yeah. Well, it's you do this though. It's it's fine. It's yeah, the yeah, latest yeah. thing. It's a phase. I mean, yeah, it's called a K-hole. It's a slime phase. It's, yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, a it's like a K-hole. It's like a K-hole, but with gag. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it's like my, I'm in a K-hole right now to get a mustard colored couch. You know, when you're just like really focused on one thing. Oh, yeah. You've wanted a hobby for a long time. You found one. Unfortunately. Definitely it's slime, but hey, <laughs> we're here. You guys, I'm going to change your minds about it when you do it. I swear to God. We, uh, so what are we going to do? You sound like a drug pusher. We do. Moment. You're yeah. going to make it. And First you're just slime's gonna, free. You're just going to see how fun it is. <sighs> All right. I want to see pictures. I mean, I'm going to have like a cocktail. You're gonna, it's going to be a thing. have a cocktail party <laughs> for slime? Have a cocktail slime. I'll come for the cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, you guys. I'm gonna. It's gonna. I'm gonna be the next slime queen. There's people making like shitloads of money off the of this. Next slime I mean, queen. I've never seen you so jazz about like a boutique <laughs> How are people business idea. Making money because they're the making people, slime and then they're people selling sell. It? They sell it online and they make yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, huh? it's crazy. These Instagram accounts have millions of followers. Yeah, they, they have like millions of followers. My and slime they s- is a little more <laughs> yeah. touchy feely than your slime. Is it that kind of thing? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like slime mm-hmm. that has more like buoyance. I and it's like gelato. They're all different kinds there's all different kinds yeah but people make like money it's crazy oh. this one woman who started all of it or something she's like she has 40 million subscribers on youtube huh? and she's going on tour and doing shows i was like what Whoa, are you doing at shows that's what's up wow <laughs> what that's is that show? show i don't know she must just make slime do you think that she has like a slime assistant so it's like a magic show so she just has somebody that just like walks out with different vats of stuff and i then hope does a so. dance while she's somebody like, who comes up out of the, the slime you gotta just awesome yeah. yeah i mean there's a lot of theatrical stuff you can do with slime oh yeah that's i mean getting sure. slimed was... i'll never forget when i was was in college in Boston I agreed to act in this student film and this motherfucker like trust fund kid as fuck like their parents gave her like $50,000 to create this sci-fi movie wow like yeah of course I want to act in your sci-fi movie sure yeah I'll so I go out to Cape Cod one week it's like negative 20 degrees and, oh, she, she, and she put us in like this I was in this slime in the freezing cold winter me and my friend Sarah for like over five hours just stuck in this slime in the middle of the winter and I caught walking pneumonia from that <gasps> slime whoa yeah yeah, because it was probably freezing. It was freezing. I was yeah. just out there freezing in slime on Cape Cod for like five. Yeah. So you've got PTSD from slime. Yeah, you're gonna really yeah. have to change her mind. Yeah. Slime that kills. So you're coming. This. You're coming. I'm, I'm not a tough. You're a disadvantage. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Has yeah. Nickelodeon ever slimed you? No. It's, mm. I know that's yeah. unfortunate. And I grew up watching. You yeah. can't do that on television. Mm-hmm. And do you remember sometimes when it was like chunky, and then other times yeah, the slime yeah. was like watery? Yeah, yeah. And it was like mm, the chunky the consistency slime. got weird mm-hmm. this episode. Yeah, different yeah, who's prop in guy. charge of making that? Oh, no. the, there's one man. <laughs> really? One man. I don't slime know. guy. Yeah, but I always wished. And Colin, then um, I loved slime Double guy. Dare. Yeah, Double Dare, oh, Double Dare was where it was at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always so wanted cool. to do the nose one where you stuck your hand yeah, up the nostril. Yeah, totally. Well, the flag. Had to get out the flag. <laughs> yes, they got to bring that back. That was such. They a really good show. should. They're bringing back everything else. I saw the Gong Show the other night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fun. It's really fun. Jennifer Aniston show. was on it. Yeah. I was like, good mm-hmm. for her. Yeah, yeah. The thing. Newlywed Game, mm-hmm. I think, might be coming back. Um, so Michael Myers connection. is playing the old host of the Gong Show in it. Is that what's happening? No, <laughs> no, it is the old host. Oh, it is. And here's the funny thing. I thought it was Mike. I thought it was like a character. My husband literally said the same thing last night. He goes, "Is that Mike Myers?" And no, I, went, I think it is. No. I'm almost no. positive. Yes. Let's see. He looks so old. No, Mike Myers. That he's got a bunch of makeup on. Really? Yeah. Really? He's. It's him in a. Mike it's him Myers. in costume. Are you kidding me? No. He's, I thought he was unrecognizable. Mm-hmm. I was like, no. No, that's him. Taken... That's him. I Whoa, can't. that's Mike Myers? Yes, that's, he's. No way. Yeah. No cool. way. Really? Oh, I owe my husband a big apology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He what? looks so Yeah, it's wow. bizarre. He's that's... hosting the gong show. It is funny, though, because I was watching him. I was like, wow. He... But Mike Myers definitely must have gotten some Austin Powers things from this guy because it's very similar. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. I can see that. saying that last night. That's so, that's so weird. Wow, but Mike Myers It did sound, I mean, it felt like him, but yeah. it doesn't look anything like him. 
That's like full prosthetic. That's what I saw game. when I when I saw the commercials. I was like, "Is this Mike?" I was so confused, and I was like, "It has to be him." That's, yeah, it's very bizarre. It's bizarre, but it's cool. It's a good. It's a funny show. That's such a st- what? I'm. I'm <laughs> I know. I'm, it's my Brandy's boy. trying to. I just don't understand. Process this. Like I, I just so don't much. I never saw the original. Yeah. I never saw the Me original either. Gong Show. So it's like I don't know what. You know, to compare, yeah. To. I've seen clips and stuff in the original yeah. one. It was really fun. I just is he so? Does he look like the original host as he was when he hosted, or as older? I, I think Chuck as he Barris. was when he hosted. Kind of well, no, old, a little older. Show and actually, I didn't even think about the logistics of that. Chuck Barris just died in March okay. of this oh. year. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm I'm ve- I'm very <laughs> should have done some research. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It just creeps it creeps me out that he's wearing like a full kind of looks like a full face, a full prosthetic. I don't understand why he isn't just doing an impression because he wants to do a thing. Yeah, why yeah. not? I it's think it's interesting. interesting. I mean, it, yeah. it, I'm not I'm not opposed to it. It's just like it seems it's very weird. To look I think at. it's admirable. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> You know, with these, with the game shows, I've done some hosting, and with the game shows, they yeah. really, like, you can shoot sometimes four or five episodes a day, so, yeah, it's a you long. know, but still, but still, the prosthetics yeah. to get into that. So imagine the boob sweat. Oh, God. oh he's probably so, so much sweaty at the end so of sweaty. it. So sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he hasn't done a movie where he hasn't not been in prosthetics for a long time, right? Yeah, I think he's more comfortable in prosthetics at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Like it right. helps. It helps yeah. him get into yeah. the character more. Yeah, I think he just has people come over and just like make me. He's just like fit. It's like the Mrs. Doubtfire scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think prosthetics are amazing. Oh, I mean, they they're are. cool. Yeah. They're cool. I just, it, it, I don't know why. It it's very bizarre to look at. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, it's rough. It's weird. It's a little weird. Well, now it makes more sense that Jennifer Aniston would have been on it because I was like, she's a little too good for the Gong Show. <laughs> <laughs> You just don't see her. But now that I know Mike Myers is involved. (laughs) Yeah, seriously. But like it was like her, Jack Black, and um, who else? I can't remember the third person that was on it. Was JB wearing sweatpants or did he? No, he actually he he put on (laughs) like a collared shirt. I love it. He like like every time I see him, I'm like, you were just wearing sweatpants, you asshole. Yeah, he pulls an Adam Sandler. Oh yeah, for sure. God, there's nothing worse than Adam Sandler going on like talk show with like a stained oversized t-shirt i'm wow. always furious i'm like no we have to try so hard to look nice <laughs> for this stuff Can right wear a pant yeah the girls zipper? come out in like a fucking like body con yeah yeah dress they've been sewed into one more thing about the about watching yeah. auditions i watched every woman come through there in mm-hmm. heels a dress mm-hmm. a blowout an eyelash mm-hmm. and there were literally guys that came in in flip-flops oh my god shorts and t-shirts Yep. Like, it, it, this is the thing. It makes me crazy. I yeah. hate that we are, as our gender, I hate that we are, like, required to be a certain way. Yeah. It's it makes bullshit. me nuts. It's yeah. bullshit. It's really well, and then, like, yeah. when guys bitch about, like, the doing the smallest amount of appearance shit, it's like, do you think I always want to be having to go to these appointments and getting these fills and doing this? It's a fucking Fuck. it's a pain nightmare. in the ass. Yeah. And it, it's, I mean, it's yeah. a stupid standard that we're just perpetuating by doing it. I think we should all just start growing all of our hair out yeah. and just start wearing bell-bottom overalls. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bring Fuck it back. It. Exactly. Yeah, I did. I was like, really annoyed my roommate, was, my True. male roommate was like trying to stand up a little bit and he was talking about going to an open mic and I was like, oh yeah, me too. I'm going to go out. And then I started putting makeup on he was like well now i feel really shitty because like you have to put makeup on to go to one and i was like yeah asshole yeah yeah <laughs> i don't exactly. know he's wearing makeup to mics well no but you know what i mean yeah. the Im- implication was like yeah. i am gonna go perform and i oh, need yeah. to look you yeah know, oh, 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. especially like every show there's always some photographer shooting you from down here oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many bad photos of us doing stand-up oh my it's God. just like this lighting is awful why would you take a picture here right why would you take a picture please yeah. Please go lower so you can get all of my chins. Yeah, please. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Get, get all please. of it. Get so I can look four feet tall and eight there. feet wide. Please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst. Oh, well, that's our show. Thanks for doing the show, oh Christine. God. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Oh, when is your fun. When is your production of Anything Happening on the Way to Farm opening? Um, we opened in November. And uh, we will run through December. Awesome. So, yeah, it's the Gary Marshall Theater um, cool. in Toluca Lake. And you can, awesome. yeah, you can subscribe online. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, um, yeah, thanks for having me. And if you want to listen to Worst Ever Podcast, we're on Audio Boom and iTunes. And you can find me on social at Yo Lakin. Yeah. Hell yeah. Go find all our stuff, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It was fun. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. Love you, bye. bye.
Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brand Dazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.